Previously on Expedition Jack, we explored the Eden Project and experienced the rainforest climate before burning our potatoes on the campfire. Good morning. The rain has stopped this morning after breakfast and we've just made it to St. Michael's Mount. It's absolutely gorgeous, golden. That's it there. It resembles very much so the one in France, the one off the coast of France. Uh, this has been used in many films as well. So at the minute it's high tide. So the next low tide would be uh, five o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, but we're not waiting around for that. So you have to get a boat across because uh, the tide's come in and covered up the road to it. But uh, yeah, when it's on low tide, you can get across. This is why we love our German army boots. We can use them like wellies. <laughs> Welly wellies. Hey, you made it. So it's two pounds for the little ferry across. As we've been walking down the beach to here, you've been like searching for some seafood, haven't you? Oh yeah. <laughs> Any sign of life? Looks like a good spot over there. Good spot over there? What? Oh yeah, all <coughs> well, the rocks and stuff. Yeah. The rock pools. But the problem is the tide's in, so... Uh, it's quite hard. To yeah. Find. They normally, when the tide's gone, like low tide, it's really easy for everything. Mm. So we really want to try these traps out later. If the weather holds off, we're gonna do a wild camp on the beach. And yeah, uh, yeah try and trap some crabs. Who, yep. Crabbing. Yep. Crabby crabbies. Crabby crabbies. Sunshine. I hope that cloud pisses off. It's raining on yonder. So we've made it to St. Michael's Mount. Yay! The sun's out, it's glorious. Flying the Cornish flag, which is a black flag with a white cross. You could argue it's inverted uh, England flag. Because believe it or not, um, the Cornish actually rebelled against English kings and queens at the time. Quite a few times actually, until they just sort of became a part. They've always been a part of the United Kingdom really, or England when they joined, but yeah. Yeah, they've always rebelled and that's why they've, they like their own flag. The giant's heart. Where's the giant's heart? I thought it was yeah. this rock. I live which part so hard to find it, like a heart rock here. Because on the, uh, on the guy he says it's like a really perfect heart shaped yeah, stone. Yeah, massive. And because it's giants, we're looking for that, 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 that. I literally think like overall view of the whole rock is it's heart. It's an old lady like kindly pointed out on the floor. It's like that. <laughs> There you go. Bit of perspective. The giant's out. <laughs> <laughs> We're just taking the walk up the Pilgrim's Way. Way. Loads of pilgrims used to come to St. Michael's Mount. <laughs> but they've even got cannons up there. Kept. Cannons. Uh, cannons. Yeah. Guns. You see, back in the day, even though St. Michael's Mount may have been religious, they used to build these on strategic points like this because it's cut off from the land by the sea. It was a natural fortress, natural protection, but they've even fortified it. Now, why would they need this if they're religious and peaceful? Basically to protect themselves because a lot of the churches and religion and stuff like that, they used to house a load of artifacts like gold and it was basically like a, a gold mine treasure. For the time period, it might have been a Catholic church and they loved to decorate the churches inside with gold and all sorts of nice, nice things even if it was owned like a, a main house for an estate it would still have loads of valuables inside now imagine back in the time in med medieval era imagine game of thrones uh, loads of marauding people like the hound going around and uh, they would pillage and kill a lot of these religious places because they don't believe in religion um, but they know of all the treasures hiding inside and that's why they need to fortify it, you see. Even some armies, some governing armies like the English army and stuff like that, because back in the time we did have a lot of kings and queens and different constituencies. So they were all against each other, trying to get on top of each other for the, the gold and the funds and the army and the power. To pillage a place like this, they would get all the gold they need to fund their army for the future. 
游泳池，游泳池，游泳池，嗯，不啥 ，swimming pool，swimming pool。I don't understand why you like this word specifically. I don't know. It does. Particularly, li 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 like this word. I do, because I can say it quite easily. The problem is you said it wrong, so. Yeah, you get. Oh, awkward. I like this place. Yeah, me too. Love it. You really like it? Absolutely. <laughs> Historical feeling is so strong. I can smell it. <laughs> so smell strong. the history. Yeah. You can really smell that rich history. Yeah. <laughs> Lily just spy all these blackberry bushes. We've been seeing tons of them around, but there's loads here. But we can't get access to them. What's that? Really huge blackberries. Really nice, but I can't get access to it. It's really annoying. Ah yeah. Ah yeah. <laughs> I feel if we try to get that, we'll be uh, rolling down the mountain, rolling down the hill into the sea. Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones. <laughs> this is actually an estate house by a wealthy family and they lived here. But that is the actual church part, but it's very well thought out. Like the architecture is amazing for the amount of land and space they've got. Very well thought out. It's quite modern as well compared to a lot of the older castles. It's all built out of granite by the looks of it. By the time of the Norman conquest in 1066, St. Michael's Mount had come into the possession of the monks of its sister isle, Mont St. Michael, in Normandy. In the 12th century, it was in their hands that built the church and priory that still lie at the heart of the castle today. Yeah, this is the church bit. Here's a secret little staircase down to God knows where. So what's your thoughts on St. Michael's Mount? Oh, nice. Really nice. Yeah. I'm really impressed with this. Mm -hmm. Like, it's one thing that I wanted to do, but I didn't really know what was on top. I wasn't expecting that much, to be honest. But it's very intact. Probably a, a majority of a day thing, actually. So we spent way longer here than we planned. <laughs> but now we're just gonna get the boat back, uh, go to the Shakespeare Theatre. Very impressed it's with fish. it. It's a fish, it's a big fish. <laughs> Can you see the road starting to appear? in low tide so we've actually had to uh, we can't cross over it anymore now by boat so they've had to land on this rock the other side of this rock and all of this was submerged all of this was submerged before yeah look at all that well, how far the sea goes out it's crazy crazy how far it goes very pretty though St Michael's Mount fully recommend this if you're around uh, I think ticket price is £9.50 so for four of us it was like 30 something pound initially I thought it was expensive because I didn't know what was actually up there but once we were up there it's like yeah this is really good no certainly worth it what have you found no it's not me Gloria I found a baby crab and release it to the sea not anywhere close to seagulls obviously nope <laughs> <All away. laughs> We've arrived at the Minak Theatre. This is Shakespeare's open air theatre and it's still in use today. They've actually got a show on later on. We're not stopping for it, but it just shows that it's still in use in 21st century. It's great. But I see why he chose this location. It's absolutely fantastic. There's the stage down there. And it looks out over the ocean. And such a picturesque coastline of all the little coves and beaches you can go and see. But the water is more like Mediterranean Sea. Like, it's so blue and clear. I'm quite surprised. What I mean is I'm quite surprised I've got this in the UK. So we're a bit worried because we just had a thunderstorm driving over here. And uh, luckily it's just stopped and clouds have broken. It's lovely. It's really pretty actually. Really calm, really chill. Too nice. Just too nice. We just sat in the theater and it's really comfy, isn't it? It's always made out of stone and they've designed it in such a way that even though it's outdoor air, because we get a lot of rain here, it all falls to the back and well, like gets drained away so you don't get a wet bum. Mm-hmm. And the stone, the bottom seat, is actually have a little bit angle. Yeah. To sort of like make you lean back and really enjoy it. It's yeah. really comfy, surprisingly. Really hugs you. Yeah. <laughs> so you don't fall down because it's very steep, the setup. Mm, yeah. And absolutely, you can guarantee absolutely everyone can see. You won't have any issue with this. Look how steep it is. 
On all of the back of the seats, they've uh, put the name, the title of each play that there was performed here and the date or the, the year that they performed it. A lot of them are Shakespeare plays, but there's even stuff like uh, Beauty and the Beast. So these are the luxury seats, what we sat in. And then I think that's the normal box seats because you don't really have the nice comfy backs on them. So, change of plan. We've opted for a campsite because the weather has been quite on and off thunderstorm showers. You see all of that dark? It keeps chucking it down and then stopping. At the minute, it's glorious sunshine. So we've opted for the campsite. We're gonna take a short walk down to the beach later yeah. and uh, probably do some food on the beach, but we're just setting up our tents first. Just right here. Right here. Right here. about British seaside it's very windy all the time get used to it <laughs> get yourself a windproof coat and don't feel it we've just made it just before the sunset Yay! there's Lily Yay! <laughs> beautiful sandy beach loads of people surfing I'm not glad you can live and then uh, we're just going to go down to those rocks to do some crabbing, like set some crab traps. And then we're going to come over here to the nice sandy bit, drink some beer and uh, cook some burgers on the beach. We've been wanting to come to the beach all this time now. Finally, we're here. It's the perfect spot. I'm so happy with it. This isn't the wild camping spot that I uh, originally chose, actually. It's just that even though the weather's all right now, it's forecast for tomorrow morning and in the night to be proper tipping it down. And we don't want to be on a beach when that happens because <laughs> we get the full force of it. So uh, we're just going to set our first trap in this rock pool. The tide is coming in very fast now and uh, all of this will be submerged under water so what we're going to do is there's a lot of life in this rock pool hopefully there'll be crabs coming out when the tide comes in so we're just going to set the trap here one trap here and then one trap deeper uh, i'll take it from there let me show you what we're doing with these traps we've got two of these traps crab traps two cat food because it's smelly i'm going to see if this works I'm going to put it in this uh, rock pool and yeah the tide's coming in pretty fast so like that zip that up and that's set right we've just uh, attached our paracord I thought it was high <laughs> <laughs> barbecue on the beach in the hole no. Yeah. Got all our beers lined up. Our ales, we're trying go ship and a few others. Some fruity ones. You like the fruity ones, don't you? Yes, we do. I've already got the honey ones, that actually tastes really nice. Oh. I've got the fruity ones, like sweetness. Very nice. Yeah. And then we're just doing some burgers on the beach. Oh, it's nice. Yeah. Do you like this style of cooking? Absolutely amazing. <laughs> Bill! <laughs> Do you think we're going to catch anything tonight? <laughs> I... Maybe 1% hope? <laughs> but still there's some hope. I mean no. <laughs> no, no, 1% still hope. They're aiming to catch at least 4 big crabs. <laughs> yeah. 1% nice means you make a 10. <laughs> we're thinking about doing chili crabs, barbecue crabs. Steam crabs, what else? Sweet sour crabs. Look. Got four crabs. There you go, I'm list. 
on yeah. the menu. Yeah, they got all the spices. Just waiting for the crabs. Oh yeah, we got all the sauce up. Yeah, that's we're ready in the fridge. Yeah, yeah we're just ready for the crabs. Maybe we can. Do you, do you think then one we can actually catch some fish as well? Did you try? Did you see today? Yeah, it could actually. Catch if some the fish. other side is pointed. Yeah. The fish cannot get out yeah. if it's pointed. So if fish uh, are clever enough to get in. Yeah, but it cannot get out yeah. if it's pointed. But if not, I not I think. Yeah, we only catch big fishes. Mm. <laughs> Small fishes can just freely come in and out, <laughs> like going to a tent. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, really quick. A little bit of rough. Come on, that's yeah. Gonna do a Land's End tomorrow. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Land's End and shipwreck, shipwreck finding. Yeah. And okay. St. Ives? Is St. Ives? St. Ives, yeah. Yeah. I see some people camp on the beach. I wonder if we can do it tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. I really wish we did tonight. No. I don't, I don't really, I don't really plan to do it tonight because there's all the clouds and stuff. It might rain really bad in the morning. I don't think I really enjoy it, it's like really windy and cold and wet. But well, we're still doing what we want to do. Yeah. We're still on the beach. It's yeah. really good as a campsite. We got water, shower and everything, so I like it. Nice. Nice. It's so evening, we've just made it back to camp. Been blown about a bit. It started to rain a bit, so we packed up, got ready, finished our beers on the beach, and about uh, half ten, we trekked through the dark back to the campsite and it was really nice, really nice walk back. All right, pretty tired, but uh, tomorrow we're gonna have a lazy morning, get up, do a nice breakfast, and then we're gonna go to Land's End, see that shipwreck, go trek, do the shipwreck, and then we are going to probably see St. Ives. We'll play it by ear at that point. Always play it by ear because as I've sort of noticed from a lot of the series that I do, I start filming that and saying that we're, oh we're doing this doing that and then plans change because of scenarios so uh, let's see what happens anyway see you in the morning and tune in next time to do an expedition hey guys I just wanted to let you know I've set up a patreon account where you could receive exclusive behind the scenes content memento giveaways in return for your support head over if you want more anyway please subscribe hit the bell icon and thank you for watching Tune in tomorrow to continue the expedition. Thanks guys.